last year, the aquaponics system's water was getting a little bit cold because of the weather. We built this heater, a solar heater, that has about 200 feet of black hosing that we put out in the sun, basically. I saw promise in it, but it wasn't quite big enough to heat the amount of water I had. So I'm building a lot bigger one. I'm only going to spend 130 bucks maybe on this system in total because we already have the panel. I'm going to cut it along here somewhere. My highly sophisticated cutting mechanism. <laughs> All right. I'll go do the right thing and get scissors. You know, the tube that was in my old hot water heater, the one that I used to have up here, melted. It was so hot. That is crazy. I'm working on the kitchen cabinet for the van. We're gonna take this box that we have built now and put a couple shelves in it. I'm not gonna do anything to the center yet because we have the filler cap that comes in through there. So we're gonna mess with that once we get it in there. I am gonna build the shelves for either side and the backing plate. We got all the shelves cut out. I've been collecting a ton of art and I would like to put it up in my house to make it look cute in here. I've also had this wallpaper that's been hanging around and it's supposed to be a different type of wallpaper that's easier to apply and easier to take off. Maybe I'll give that a try. So the idea is I'm going to take a lot more of the black tubing and put it out in the sun. I looked around for the best place of where I could put this black tubing and I found a perfect place not too far away, right in the goat pen. It's the actually the milking stanchion cover, a little shed place we milk our goats in. So it's perfect for it because it's got a nice white roof and it's actually pointing towards the sun. So in order to get the piping over to the aquaponics system, I gotta run a line all the way across. So I need something to hold up the black tubing. So I'm just gonna run a couple cables across the top here. Hold the black tubing up. It's a double trouble. Well, hot and cold can't touch. They cool each other down, right? That's why there's two lines. I need to start with the tubing because I don't exactly know the lengths because this is quite a bit of length before we get to there. I might lose 100 feet just in getting to the thing. So <laughs> it might only be 800 feet in the sun. It's about ready to get messy. All right, now as long as I don't let go of it, we'll be fine. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? So my plan is to use around 1500 feet of tubing, which sounds like a lot. The more black tubing in the sun, the hotter that water is gonna get. But it should be enough to cover a good chunk of that roof, so it'll be perfect. Should be able to now take this end down here. It's quite the journey to run the tubing from the aquaponics to the heater coil outside. Something like that. Now I'm working on the back plate. This is a piece of siding that we actually pulled out of the van originally. I think I'm just gonna peel the cloth and foam off of it and cut a square out, put it on the back. Any uh, foam that gets left on the back, I'm not gonna worry about, we're gonna call it insulation. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's measure this thing out and get cut. All right. Yeah, see, that'll look good. Oh, that looks really good. Yep, never notice there's insulation on the back. <laughs> Perfect. So, I guess we're ready to put this thing together. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Yeah, you look cute. You come out here to help? You want to play while we work? Ooh, is it ready to go together? I think so. Ready to start the party. Let's put our blocks in first, and then we can put our shelves in, and then put our side plates on. That sounds good. Oh, I'm excited to get it in the van. Yeah, we're so close now. Is that too small of a shelf? I don't think so, because you do dishes. You know, like you just have to play a stack of... Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, of course. Cut a little short now. That's all right. Let me make it. Do you maybe make this board a smidge longer? Sure, let me just get out my special tools. Awesome. Thanks for the special tools. So now we've got six more of those in. No problem.
this corner is just an awkward, empty little corner in the kitchen that eventually I'd like to get a dining table. All right, so this is the wallpaper I wanna use. It's like the leaf, leafy leafers. And I still have to figure out how to use it, but I figure it's probably not that complicated. <laughs> oh no. Like a giant sticker, don't tell dad. So we're realizing now we may not have as much wallpaper as we thought. So we might do like a space and then do one more line right here. Wallpaper complete. How's it rocking and rolling, Bri? It's like coming along. Try some epic technique to like work out kinks. And they're like, oh, you could just work out a kink this way or something. Put an air dryer on it and it goes the kink. You know, I was running and I was like, I don't want to put the pump at the end of all this thousand feet here because if I did, then it would have to draw empty air through a thousand feet every time it starts. And I didn't want it to do that. I'm gonna put it here. No one only has to draw this distance to get the water. So I've been thinking about this for a long time, trying to figure out how in the world I'm gonna heat 700 gallons of water. It seems like quite a challenge, but there are ways to do it. Electric heaters like hot tub heaters and they put them in, but they use so much electricity. It would be so expensive just to heat that thing in the winter, it would be ridiculous. And so then I looked into some other systems. I was thinking maybe at one point running it off of like pellets or wood and then maybe propane. It just every way was really quite expensive. So I'm relatively sure that this is going to be the cheapest method to heat this aquaponics, the black tubing out in the sun. So the whole thing that sparked this idea with black tubing in the sun was my mom lived up in Oregon for a while when they were growing up as kids and they had a huge swimming pool. And what they did is they took this irrigation black tubing and they took a bunch of it and they wrapped it up and they put it in the sun and it was heating their swimming pool up so they could have a warm swimming pool in the winter time. I thought that, that was so cool. And then also dawned on me, oh my gosh, I could use that same method to heat the aquaponics tank. We have all the framework in now. Gonna put the shelves in, Gloop. see if they work. I hope I can fit them in there and I hope that I cut them all the right size, but we'll see. Let's get the first one in, huh? There we go. That's not bad, huh? That looks really good. Go, get it. You chew on that. One last shelf to put in. This one in, this one is not easy to put. go in. Oh, oh, oh. I made this just a smidge tight. It'll be good once you get in. Nice. All right, now that's it, no good. Okay, like that. Let's throw on the side pieces, huh? These yeah. are ribs. Like in that. Plywood looks cool sanded. It does, I really like it. This is like old stuff we just had lying around. And yeah. it looks it good. Cleaned up nice. I'm so bummed you don't say glue anymore. I know, it's because I'm all self-conscious about it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's oozing with glue. I think now we just have the back piece on. Man, this thing just keeps getting heavier. I wonder why. <laughs> I don't know. So now we got this beautiful thing. Some screws in this thing and... There we go. We got a cabinet with shelves. Is this one crooked? No, I don't think it is. I think we're okay. It's just the lighting. For sure. We have some comments about putting a a strip across the front to keep things from sliding out. We'll probably will do a little one. Yeah, that was a great thing. idea. And then the sides will go on after it's in the van because the sides have a little bit of a curve to them to kind of butt it up to the van wall nice. Well, hello there. In our solar system, picked up some more panels. They're back in here, so I have to retrieve them. I'm not really sure if we took this door off or how we got them in here, but we're gonna try to get them out. It appears that when we put these solar panels in here, we didn't have the extra batteries in here. So I'm now taking the doors off. That's adorable. <laughs> yeah, bruh. Here's the panel. I'm amazed we got these in here in the first place. 
So there are a few ways I could run the pump that circulates the water through the black tubing. It is crucial for this system not to run when there's no sun. If there's no sun, there's no warmth. It'll do the opposite effect and start cooling the system down. I could run it off a of house power and run it off of a timer that turns it on during the daytime and shuts it off at night, but it's not 100% efficient because you start running into problems where what if it's cloudy and some other little issues. I could do like a light sensor and program this really fancy system that tells when there's light outside or not. And then mom suggested, well, why don't you just put a solar panel out there and run it directly off the solar panel? Then when the solar panel's in the sun, it's producing electricity for the pump. And then when the sun isn't out, the solar panel is not producing any electricity, which means the pump's not running. It's actually perfect. I can't get down. Get some door stain, huh? Yeah. We're staining the doors a different color than the rest of the cabinet. So I'm gonna stain them first before we hang them. Those look good, Al. Thanks. We got them all stained, so I'm just doing a quick coat of polyurethane so they're nice and sealed. On these doors, I'm doing just straight polyurethane. On the cabinet, we'll do the mix. Because the mix has the other stain in it, yeah. and these are a different color. It has cherry stain in it, but we want these ones to be a little redder so they kind of pop. I was going to polyurethane it out here, but we want to keep moving. And once I polyurethane, I have to wait for it to dry. So we're going to stick it in the hole and screw to the walls and then start working on the sides. That is one hefty cabinet. Probably not what you want for a lightweight van, but at the same time, the van can definitely hold it, and it's the only way I know how to build. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. I guess I'll get some screws. We'll go into the wall. I got a beam right behind this one, one over there. That's pretty sturdy already. All right, not moving now. We got our kitchen cabinet sink stand thing installed. Our entire kitchen. Oh yeah. <laughs> volt pump adds up to be like 12 volts and 5 amps something like that that's gonna go right up there we went all over the place the hardware store we could not find the threads for this and when we finally thought we found it we bought them we brought the pieces back they're not the right threads because we can't find the right pieces for it I'm just going to put silicone around it put a hose clamp on there and just jam it over the top of the threads and then I'll tighten this around it and that will be that magically sealed now it will seal that's what you do with the old silicone, if anyone asks. The goal here is to run the pump directly from the panel with no batteries. The wiring behind the solar panel and pump is actually really simple. So here's how it functions. The solar panel is on the roof and it's collecting 30 volts and like eight amps of power. That comes into this DC to DC converter. It's a buck converter. What's really cool about the 30 volts coming into the 12 volts, this panel won't always be producing 30 volts. As the sun kind of goes down, those volts will drop. Even if it produces 12 volts, it will still run this pump. What's cool about that is when the sun's out is running the pump and then when the sun goes down the pump shuts off plus there's no extra batteries or anything to worry about it's just one little mechanism that does all the work so let's go look at the other end and see if there's any water huh pumps water really slowly the main goal of that is we don't want water going too fast otherwise won't warm up the water water should be flowing here soon now it's just a waiting game okay we're gonna do the sides now so i'll cut and garen will put the slots up yeah that sounds, sounds good like Trim pieces in, and now I'm ready to start polyurethaning. So I'm gonna jump on that and get this thing all shiny. All right, we got it all polyurethane installed. Now we're just waiting on it to dry so we can put the doors on it. So we gotta get the handles on, the hinges on. We also bought some of these to keep the doors shut so that the doors won't fly open when we're driving. So do you think we want the handles dead center or a little higher or a little lower? Do you wanna like hold them up there and then see where it'd be nice to grab it? I think like right here. I'm gonna trust your opinion on this. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. I think it is. Another big question. Do we want these slats going that way or that way? Does it matter? They're all the same. There is no. Never mind. Forget that. Does that look good? Yeah, I like that. Okay. It's really important to go super slow. It should take about half hour per hole. That's why cabinets are so expensive and how they drill the holes for the handles. 
to feel like an eight hour job. Yeah. Do you have a logical reason why? I, I'm trying to act like I know what I'm doing. That's what you do, you just make up little things. Cool, some hinges and then we'll put the handles on. Sounds like a plan. So I have this thing in my room and we were gonna put a coffee table here and then we decided it didn't look near as good as this cushy, cushy McCusher. So we just moved this in here and we'll probably put our art up. It's working! Oh, there it is! Let's you can tell it's, it's quite toasty. It's like it's about 105 degrees coming out and temperature going in approximately 70 to 71 and it's coming out 105. Nice! That's pretty crazy. Cool. You always wonder if it'd be hot enough to cook some fish. No, not 105. That's super exciting. All right. <laughs> That's so cool, huh? So now I'm gonna feed it into the aquaponics. That's fed in. Good job. Very cool, huh? Mm. Hopefully we start seeing some warmth increase. It's 70 degrees in there now, but we'll see. All right, good job, bro. The fish will hopefully be warmer for the winter now. The real test will be when those freezing nights come. We'll keep you posted. So far, everything's working great. We're gonna be bringing updates to see how well this works, so it's gonna be really exciting. I don't know that this makes any difference whatsoever, but I'm gonna put a little wood glue on there. It's gonna be a mess, and I'm okay with it. Okay, one hinge. So well, these kind of have a little bit of a snap to them too. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Should we just finish putting this door together with the handle and everything? Yeah. Does this fit? Oh. oh yeah. Perfection. That'll be good, I think. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. So one down. Two to go. Got them all hinged and knobbed. <laughs> <laughs> Hinged and handled. Hinged and handled, there we go. So, are we gonna hang them now? Yeah, let's bring them in there. Okay. Oh, so excited. So this one goes here, huh? Yep. Oh, and then one more half inch mark. Down here, so we can get a square. Okay, now how does that feel? Nice, doesn't make any weird noises. That looks so good. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. The kitchen cabinet is installed. All the doors are in, it's stained, it's screwed into place, it's not moving. So exciting, it looks so good. It looks like it just belongs in there. Yeah. It really flows well with the pallet board sides and stuff. The more pieces that come together, the better it keeps looking, which is definitely a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Next band week will probably be, I don't know, bed, floor, or something, something else big and fun. That's yep. gonna be really cool. Well, that wraps up this week. The t-shirt design of the week is glue. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, or our other products that we offer, as well as the previous designs that we've done in past weeks, you can find the link to our shop down in the description. We really appreciate you being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for that podcast. Bye! What'd you put down there? What went down? Mom's favorite scissors. Look at the way this goat drinks. She drinks via her ear. Let's see if I can. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, that was, that was good. That was good, baby girl. Then the, uh. <laughs> the... He keeps eating my elbow. I'm trying to get this, eh? <laughs> What's going on over there? Y'all good? <laughs>
I have no idea. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. I got it. Really important information. You want to know what it is? This little arrow right here. I actually need to flip this pump around. It's on the wrong way. It's fine. I wonder if there's any. You put that up to your ears, but your ears have something on them. 